Hello and welcome to the next chapter in our ongoing series of tutorials that will help familiarize you and improve your skills with PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate. In today's short lesson, I'm going to show you how to use a new advanced but very easy to use feature in PaintShop Pro called HDR or High Dynamic Range Photo Merge. Oftentimes you'll take a picture with your digital camera where the foreground may look good but the sky is overexposed or vice versa, depending on where your camera's sensors are pointed at. You too often have to sacrifice good lighting in one part of your scene for another part. What would be helpful is to have both a photo where the foreground is just right, one where the background is just right, and maybe one in between. Then have a tool that will take the best exposed parts of each image and make one perfect image, right? Well, that's exactly what HDR Photo Merge does. It takes several photos of differing exposures and combines them into high dynamic range image with much more detail than any single image could create. Many intermediate and above cameras have a feature called bracketing, which will take three to five rapid succession photos at differing exposures automatically. These photos can then be used in PaintShop Pro Photo HDR feature. If your camera does not have this bracketing feature, you can take three to five photos yourself by setting the exposure or shutter speed manually. In either case, a tripod or a steady surface is suggested, as well as taking images without a lot of motion associated with them, such as moving people or cars. Let me show you how this is done. I've already taken the liberty of opening up several images in my organizer that I can use. Notice how the differing exposures are in these particular photographs. This one here is overexposed, this one here is underexposed, and this one here is pretty good. But HDR Photo Merge is not in the toolbar, but is a sub-application that I can launch from the file menu here. Again, if your camera does not have the auto bracketing feature, take one image at a normal setting, such as 1 100th of a second at f11, then take two more at the same f-stop, but at a different shutter speed, one setting above, one setting below. Think of these terms as how fast you blink and how much you open your eye in between blinks. All right, now I have HDR Photo Merge open. I'll browse and open the images I want to use. I can select all the images I want to use at once and click OK. But before I bring in the images I will eventually use, I'm going to bring in these two images to show off another nice feature of HDR Photo Merge. Now, notice that HDR has already combined the photos for me, but they're out of alignment. I can fix this simply by selecting Align Images. This will be useful if you don't use a tripod. OK, let me swap these images out for the ones I do want to use. So again, HDR has already combined these images for me, but I still need to adjust the HDR settings down here. I could try Suggest Settings, but my personal experimentation has usually proved best. I will move the brightness slider to around 40 and the clarity to around 60. Clarity is another unique feature in PaintShop Pro Photo that adjusts the contrast on a per region basis as opposed to a blanket adjustment. With these set, I'll click OK and gloat at my awesome looking picture. You can even go so far as to set this image to a grayscale for an Ansel Adams type of effect. Well, thanks again, and we'll see you in the next chapter.